Television is the most powerful medium that we have ever come up with. It's the average person watches it five hours a day, every single day. It has an enormous impact on society. It's the most powerful medium, and yet until now, it's the least democratic medium we've ever come up with. That's because the content on television, the content that goes into your home and everyone else's home five hours a day, every single day, for the last 50 years, you have no control over. You're a passive observer. There's something inherently wrong with that. The media does not belong to Time Warner. The media does not belong to CBS. The media does not belong to CNN. The media do not belong to any of them. The media belongs to us. The media belongs to you and me. Up until now, we haven't been able to get our hands on this. That's because it was expensive to do. It was complicated. If you broadcast through the air, the FCC controlled who could get the frequencies, and they gave the frequencies away, which belonged to us, to ABC, CBS, and NBC, for free, by the way, and left us with nothing but the job of being observers of what they decided they wanted to put on the air, put into your living room, put into your mind every single day. This is inherently crazy. It's destructive. In the world of print, the invention of the printing press suddenly opened up the opportunity for anyone who wanted to publish the ability to do that because the technology was there. And in Europe, when the printing press first came out, the world went from having almost no books, only the Bible really, and books that the king and the church decided they would produce, to having more than 13 million volumes within 30 years of the invention of the printing press. Today, iPhones, which I'm working on right now, and the internet are the equivalent of the printing press. What they mean is that you now have the ability to do exactly what CBS, NBC, ABC, and all the rest of them do. They don't have the right to have a monopoly over video content. They don't have a right to have a monopoly over the news. They are not the voice of God. They are corporations interested in a profit. It is not a free press, not yet. But we can make it a free press if you have the courage to simply pick up your iPhone and start to make content and put it out for the world to share. The miracle of the internet is you don't need cable anymore, you don't need broadcast, you don't need giant antennas on the top of the Empire State Building in order to get your signal into people's homes. Through the miracle of the internet, you are in three billion homes instantly and for free. And through the miracle of this iPhone video and simple editing applications like iMovie or Final Cut, you have the ability to do exactly what CBS and CNN and Fox do. So you know what? If you don't like what's on the news, make it yourself. There's an enormous opportunity here to democratize the medium and also to create your own television channel. You can own one. You can start one. You can own one. It doesn't take much to do it. Now, I've been publishing a series of blogs, which I hope you'll read on the VJ.com, but we're also going to have a one-day seminar on this whole notion of how to start and own and run your own TV channel. No one has ever done this before, as far as I can tell, but the opportunity is there. Not only is the opportunity there, the opportunity is there to craft entirely different kinds of content. If you have a specific thing that you're interested in, for example, the United Nations High Commissioner on Human Refugees, UNHCR, the people who do refugees, we've been training and equipping all of their people to shoot and cut their own video on iPhones and upload it themselves. Every niche, every interest can have their own channel now and make it profitable. If you want to find out more, well, keep watching these videos, read the blogs, or sign up for the, for the seminar if you want to. I mean, that's entirely up to you. But trust me, there's a revolution coming. It's a whole new world. I called it the third wave. The first wave was broadcast. The second wave is cable. The third wave is internet channels. And the opportunity is here for you to own one and operate it and make a profit. Try it. I'll be back with more.